you know, I've been going across the country and talking on this issue for one really good reason, and that is because it really impacted my own life. Uh, I remember what it was like to be in high school in 1988, and the pressure to want to be accepted and loved, and the fear of rejection. And I remember what it was like to be the captain of my high school basketball team. And when we played our rivals, Puno, I was in Hawaii at the time. And, you know, I had a great game against them. I had 25 points and 15 rebounds, but we still lost the game. And afterwards, the coach comes barreling into the locker room. He slammed the chalkboard, said everybody on this team played like a fag, <coughs> except for Wayne. And I'm thinking, coach, if we would have, we would have won the game. <laughs> I just love to show you the wedding photos, but they almost never show you the divorce papers that are the likely outcome of such arranged marriages. He decided to walk out. I had two little children at home at the time, and I was very devastated. But he had been cheating on me from three months into our marriage, all through our entire marriage, at any opportunity he could find. Now, this is a very important billboard. I'm going to go up here and over here, what does it say? Change is possible. Now, repeat after me on the count of three. Change is possible. I really want everyone to remember this. One, two, three. Change, Change is possible. The second reason we should care about these groups is politics. They like to say, we're just here to help those who want to get help. We're here to help those with unwanted homosexuality. The question we need to be asking is why? Why is it unwanted for some people? Why is it such a big deal? Well, because they're afraid they're going to face rejection, and there's a lot of discrimination. These organizations are for sodomy law. They are for the Federal Marriage Amendment. They're against hate crime laws and fight tooth and nail against it. They are against every single attempt to stop bullying in schools. There's never been one piece of, of positive pro-gay legislation they've ever been for, and they've never seen a piece of anti-gay legislation they haven't embraced. Uh, so it's sort of a conflict of interest. How can you say we're only here to help those who are unhappy when you've spent millions of dollars trying to make people unhappy? 